In MCC 27, a team consists of totally brand new players in the tournament while us predicted to be around 9th for 10th. But in the actual event, they came second and is in Dodge Bolt. They however lost. Four canon events later, this would happen again to two new players in the tournament. This time to a revolutionary team in MCC history. And that, they won. This team is really underestimated by literally everyone in the MCC community, as with this team being the very first all Spanish speaking team in MCC, and that there are two new players that are not widely known in the MCC space. Oli Gamers, the very first Squidcraft winner, and Capitan Gato, Jojo's favorite to win in Squidcraft 2. There's also Shadoon, who's had a rough first time in MCC 30, and Jojo, the woman with all skills in her disposal. But she also went through some t rough times as well, like, you know, that time when Dream chased her like all the map in the Zubab games, yeah. Now, a quick note as well, Oli and Capitan Gato were not the original players in the team. Chris Green and Contestin were the originals, but due to some controversies between the two, which I will not mention here, Oli and Captain Gato were here instead. You want to know more, you might want to check out the team announcements live stream on MCC Live Show about that. Okay? Yeah? Cool. So, despite Jojo being in this team, this team was considered weak to some, with some lack of knowledge of skills as well as some past experiences as well, dominantly with Shadoon as mentioned before. But what about to happen would really Surprise everyone. Starting off with Rocket Speed Rush. Okay, th this game is tough with Ollie really hating the game, I would say. No, 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 to get to the side was in the middle of the road for them, but the team got some crucial team bonuses as well, including the one from the Jumbo's map. Ah, you like that? Okay, okay, this. This is the final, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Final. Oh, primero, es primero como equipo. What? Primero como equipo? Okay. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Parkour warrior was pretty rough for them, with Shadoon having issues throughout, despite the game being his game in the last event. And also in the game, two players did not complete the course, which can hurt them as the team multiplier are crucial in this game. But then they pick it back up in parkour attack, and this is where Captain Gato and Oli shine a lot, with successful hunts and survivals for them and the team. And Oli really is a scary one in parkour attack. No Vamos! Nice, Oli, nice. Buena, Oli, buena, buena. Vale. Nice, Oli! Está en el piso, sigue corriendo. Vamos, vamos! No puedo ver, no puedo ver. was okay for them, despite some rooms being a slow one for them. And then came Meltdown. And oh boy, did this team cook. Yo cogí de todo. No tengo giro, no tengo giro para el pick up. This team won the first round, which is huge for the two of the players who are new to the tournament. The second and third rounds were okay for them, despite the third being their early elimination round for them. All of the previous three games mentioned made them climb from the bottom of the leaderboard, well, around, to the top half of the leaderboard. And it really does not stop there either. Swap Games is next, and this game really makes predictions 
became not so accurate as some teams would could dominate and climb to the top of the leaderboard with this game. And Red did so just that, bashing out the longtime SG winner of Fruit Berries and the PP gods that are Sapnap and Purple. <laughs> This put them above lime and yellow and claim the top two spot. All they need now is a good sense of time above lime since the gap is really close between them after the 7th game. And they did, thanks to Jojo's skills in the game itself as well as crucial comms in the process, earning them a spot in Dodge Bolt. Finally, okay. Green contra... Si! Si! Vamos! Vamos! And to summarize Dodge Bolt, the game was really tense and also a back and forth with purple and volley's good accuracy in the two rounds that they have and Capitan Gato doing the thing. Nice! <laughs> With two wins each, the game came down to the final round. And Jojo was shaking in her final standoff, I would say, for her win. This team was predicted 10th averagely, and they overcame every single prediction ever to be in second place and win the event after a rough start to the team and some beginner stiff to the team itself. At the end of the day, MCC is really unpredictable and brings surprises in every single event. And so far in season 3, they delivered for canon events. MCC29, we got the winning team who none of them are in the top 10. MCC30, we got an unexpected team to win with no dominant second frag whatsoever. And MCC31, we have a team that was predicted really low but won the event. It really is fascinating indeed. That's all. Thank you so much for watching and keep on watching Do Your Shuffle. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.